Hi, I'm Pastor Diane Christensen from Faith United Methodist Church. Welcome to this time of worship. Our theme today is Comfort Food, a Feast of Love. This worship service is offered as a way of breaking bread on a Sunday when we would normally have Holy Communion. Even though we can't gather at the Lord's table today, uh, since we are physically separated from one another, we can uh, gather at the tables in our homes. And so my table is set with coffee and pancakes, which is a feast that I enjoy. I invite you now to please get yourself something to eat and drink. And you have about two minutes as we listen to the Lily of the Valley. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see all I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand, my soul. He all my grief has taken, and all my sorrow borne. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken, and all my idols torn from my heart, and now he keeps me by his power. Though all the world forsake me, and Satan tempts me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. While I live by faith and do his blessed will, a wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. With his manna, he my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. When we break bread together, we remember that Jesus invited folks to table ministry throughout his life, not just at the Last Supper. We might think of Jesus eating with Zacchaeus, the hated tax collector, or Jesus eating with the Pharisees, a group of religious leaders, some of whom approved of his ministry and others who were deeply suspicious of him. Or Jesus sitting down for a quiet meal in the home of his friends Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Whatever the food was, whatever the beverage was at those tables, the meal was blessed because of Jesus' presence. So in like manner, we celebrate Jesus' presence with us today. Jesus comforts us, saying, You have a place at this table. It is difficult in this moment not to be near some of the people we love and might be worried about. Take a moment to say out loud the names of people you wish were right there next to you at your table today. Speaking the names of our loved ones brings them firmly to mind. May we be comforted by their presence in this way. Blessings at the table are part of our Judeo-Christian heritage. Indeed, Jesus adapted his Jewish ritual blessing spoken before and after meals. He asked us to remember him whenever we break bread 
and raise a cup in thanksgiving. This is why we call our communion prayers the Great Thanksgiving. In this feast of love and comfort, we can call to mind things for which we are deeply grateful. I invite you to speak aloud a couple of things for which you are grateful in this moment. And so I invite you to touch the plate of food on your table or raise a glass of whatever it is you're drinking. And let us bless these elements in this way, repeating each phrase after me there at home. Holy Comforter, you say Holy Comforter, we gather in your name, invited by Jesus, bound together by your Spirit, in union with each other. Feed our bodies and our spirits with your comforting presence so that we might be your comfort to others. Bless this food and break open our hearts. Bless this drink and pour out your love. Amen. Go ahead and eat, and as you eat, take in the extravagant love God has for you in Jesus Christ. While you're eating, I'll read you the story of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 6 through 11. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and put their cloaks on it, and he sat on the donkey. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. I can imagine that the crowds were inspired in their words by the words of Psalm 18. I'm reading from the 24th verse. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and God has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for God is good, for God's steadfast love is forever. Today is also Passion Sunday the remembrance of the suffering of Jesus as he was arrested, interrogated, sentenced, deserted by his disciples, and hung on a cross to die. We will hear more about that in a video series of short devotions Monday through Saturday of this week. Pastor Nancy is also preparing a worship experience for Good Friday. I want to share with you right now a favorite Bible passage of mine, Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. In this reading, the Apostle Paul recites what may be an early hymn to Christ, words that are ex express our understanding of who Jesus was and is, and our call to follow Jesus. 
Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Jesus is the one whose sacrifice of himself demonstrated the unlimited nature of his love for us. Jesus is the one greeted on this day by cheering crowds. Jesus is the one who comforts us at table fellowship with food and drink and his enduring presence. Thanks be to God. Now I invite you to support ministry to our neighbors near and far. Look for the online giving button on the home page of our website, www.faithumchurch.com. The online giving button is in the upper right-hand corner of the home page. God bless you as you give. We now go to God in prayer calling to mind the people we cannot name, but those whom God knows. So let us pray. For those who have lost loved ones, for those who are sick and recovering, for those who are caring for loved ones who are sick at home, for those who are caring for persons in medical facilities, for those who are separated from loved ones, for those who are feeling alone and isolated, for those who are helping and are so very tired, for those who are struggling to find friends, food, and comfort in these days, for those who are afraid. I invite you to take a deep breath on behalf of all those we do not know and cannot call by name. As we do so, we know that God knows who needs our prayers, and the Spirit, the breath of God, is blowing from within us outward as a spirit of compassion and presence. Amen. Now I invite us as beloved children of God to join together in the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. A couple of announcements. Next Sunday, in addition to a video worship experience, we will offer you the chance to drive through the church parking lot and wave at your church staff and other leaders. We will be standing along the sidewalk from 11 a.m. to 11.30, weather permitting. So we hope to see you and be able to wave back at you on Easter Sunday. Today on this Palm Passion Sunday, we were hoping to have palms uh, in containers by the side of the road on the church property at 33rd Avenue Northeast and Belden Drive in St. Anthony. However, the palms have not yet been delivered. 
So if we do get them this week, we will put them out. And I'd invite you to go by and take one or more branches to remind you of the loving presence of Christ that is with you. Finally, let me give a shout out to Dr. Marsha McPhee of WorshipDesignStudio.com. It was Marsha who created this liturgy and allowed me to adapt it. Thank you, Marsha. Now receive this blessing. May you shelter not only in place, but in peace. And may the peace and presence of Christ be with you now and forevermore. Amen.